creativity of the mind is so enormous that you can make something of nothing. You can do it. This, the Zen of Zen came to me one day because I had, uh, as I was just saying, I had a portrait, a master, which I was studying under in London, and he, we used to take classes for a whole day doing, you know, just one or two portraits, he used to explain, and flashlighting is just coming on its own, so we were all experimenting, and then I was sitting, I wasn't doing anything in the class, so I said, Lynn, uh, will you excuse me, I want to go and take some pictures, you know, of things and all that outside. Then he looked at me and then he turns to the class and says, Oh, Mr. Peter is being creative. He wants to go take pictures. He said, Where are you going? I said, I'm going to go in the street. He said, You don't know what you're doing, Peter. He says, You want to be creative? Be creative in the class. He says, You want to take pictures? Go and take pictures of everything in the in the studio, he said, there's guys, lights, people sitting, do portraits. That's my start. He was right. Christ said, where am I going? The class was amazing reportage for me. I was going to go and look for a subject. I wasn't looking. I didn't see that. I didn't understand. So that came to me. <clears throat> and then I got to know about other photographers like uh, Kerte. He does amazing photographs are sitting in his one tiny room in New York take pictures of the Washington Square. This guy is a master of photography but he made Washington Square into a huge book. Prince taking pictures from his balcony looking down into the square. Life is boiling down there. So where is he going? He can't go anywhere. He's sitting in his room. Creative risks are, are thing are could be dangerous, but you have to take the risk and do it. I took a jump from fashion photography, which I never thought I would, but it was ridiculous. I got stuck to fashion photography, I became a fashion photographer. But there's no such thing. You you're a photographer, you're a photographer. You take risks and, and you go in the desert and take pictures of rocks. And everyone's saying, oh, well, you used to be a fashion player. I'm not anymore. I've, I took a risk of my name and I stuck to it and I became a landscape photographer. Then you take another risk and start taking pictures of babies. I don't know, whatever you want to say. Big, very big distances of subjects. These, I think these are risks that you take in your creative life. And it's great. A benefit is that people see it, love it, and they encourage me to do more. It's very simple. I love that. <laughs>